and we are almost to the end of the game. Hooray! That forge is wow, molten metal. There, that looks right. I'm the penman and not you. Besides, I would have found it before you did if I didn't have to sit there all day learning all that other silly rubbish. What is that? Looks to me like a meteorite. A rock? 600 years of secrets and mystery and puzzles all because of a stupid rock? No way. There must be something under it. No, don't touch it! Everything. It's my fault, Linda's sick. I mean, she's not really sick. I just made her think she is. I left that curse in her room and gave her allergy pills and put her medicine in a moisturizer. Why? I just wanted to go away. I just wanted to be daddy. Well, wow, someone's my confessing. Please don't make me talk anymore, Nancy. There's no air in here. I can't breathe. I've got to figure out a way to get that box off of her fast. There is a beast of Blackmore, Jane. She made poor Linda think she was turning into a monster by putting her uncle's hair restorer in Linda's moisturizer. She also slipped Mrs. Drake's allergy pills into Linda's food so she'd feel woozy all the time. An extremely dangerous thing to do. Needless to say, Jane's father was very upset, especially when he found out Jane had done it because she still wants him and her real mother to get back together. After Jane apologized to Linda and Hugh apologized to both of them, they all resolve to do whatever it takes to become a real family. As for Blackmore Manor, ever since I told him about all the passageways and gadgetry I discovered, Hugh has become fascinated with his family history and has asked, no, ordered Ethel to teach him what she's taught Jane. Mm -hmm. And while he doesn't believe for a second that the meteorite in that old alchemy lab has magical powers, he has encouraged Jane to come up with a puzzle to help ensure its safekeeping, just as initiates have been doing for centuries. Which reminds me, the Pendulins swore me to secrecy when it comes to all their traditions. So don't tell anybody any of this, okay? Nigel suspected something was up when he came to get his laptop and has been hounding me ever since. This is just the kind of stuff he'd love to include in that unauthorized tell-all he's trying to write. If he calls me one more time, I'm telling on him. To Mrs. Drake. <laughs> That'll teach him. Ever yours, Nancy. Do, 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 do. They're always super soothing. The year is 1930, and everything is on the rise. Unemployment, government breadlines, and organized crime. In the mm -hmm. midst of it all, a heroine is born. Armed with only a flashlight, a blue roadster, and a spirited resourcefulness, a 16-year-old detective will go on to inspire hope in the hearts of young girls and curses upon the lips of evildoers everywhere. Her name? Nancy Drew. And I probably will do that one next. I don't know. Well, thanks everyone for watching my videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, follow me on my Tumblr. <clears throat> and download stuff from my Sims 3 page. I really appreciate it. And I like to thank everyone who has, subs who has subscribed to my channel. You guys are awesome. I'm almost up to 40 subscribers. Yay. And, um... Yeah, I think it's pretty amazing. I mean, I thought no one would watch my videos, but apparently a lot of people like them. 
So yeah, I thank you all so much for watching my videos. I've, I'm actually very happy that people watch them. Alright, bye.